entertainmentbooter.com Hey now, fans of War Flicks. Matt Haywood here from Entertainment Buddha. Yes, I'm back reviewing films after a long hiatus to cover The Mandalorian and be a little lazy. The word epic isn't quite large enough to use when describing 1917, which tells a harrowing tale of two British soldiers tasked with crossing enemy lines to prevent a massacre of another division. It's hands down one of the most realistic and in-your-face war dramas I've ever seen, which is due in part to the clever cinematography, which simulates a one-shot take for the entire duration. This never-cutting presentation is what sucks you in and makes you feel as if you're on the same deadly mission as Corporals Blake and Schofield. The tension it brings is palpable, and you will squirm in your seat due to how tense your innards get while watching these two dash across no man's land and make their way into German territory, never knowing when they may be shot at or hit by a booby trap. You truly get what has to be the closest silent observer feel to what life must have been like for these soldiers on the front lines of World War I, which is why 1917 to me is now the greatest war movie of all time. To me, its level of realism and sheer drama rivals, if not exceeds, that of Saving Private Ryan, so I promise you it's no slouch in the genre. While the one-take cinematography is magical and makes the war action feel more real than ever, I also have to point out the performances of Dean Charles Chapman and George McKay, who play the leads. These two grab you from the get-go and instantly make you feel as if you're watching real soldiers experiencing real emotions during a really shitty period in human history. 1917 may not be perfect, but there isn't too much to bitch about, so it still gets a 10 out of 10 review score. I can't recommend seeing it in theaters enough because these are the types of films that movie going experiences were created for. Thanks for watching. Please consider liking this video and subbing to the channel if you dig shorter style film and game reviews because we can make you a better geek one post at a time. Entertainmentbooter.com <laughs>